Hi everyone, today I'll be talking about nerve impulses and membrane potential. First, I'll go over some rules of ion movement. First, they move from high to low concentrations. They are attracted to opposite charges and it depends on the permeability of the membrane. So the membrane potential and the nerve impulses, we are interested in looking at the axon of the neurons. That's what we're looking at over here. So the resting potential is basically when the neuron is not firing an impulse. And it's important to note that um, it's important to note that the overall charge is negative 17 millivolts. So here we are mainly interested in the sodium potassium pumps that are in the membrane. There are only one thing you need to know about this pump. That three, um, three sodium ions are pumped out and only two potassium ions are pumped in. So it's two to three in this ratio. This creates an uneven um, charge balance with more positive ions outside, which is why the overall resting potential is negative. Um, it is also important to know that the axon ion itself is also more permeable to the potassium ions because there are some protein pumps of ions. So actually a few bits of them actually does leave as well. So this means there's even more positive ions outside. Just a little bit though. There are also some negative charge, negatively charged ions in here. Sometimes it's like chlorine or um, there's also just some negative proteins as well. So this is the resting potential. Okay, so next I'll be talking about a action potential, which is when you are firing, when the neurons are firing an impulse, which has two main steps. The first one is um, depolarization, which is at positive um, 40 millivolts or 30 to 40 millivolts. And it basically um, occurs once the, let's pick another color, once the um, neuron receives an electric, electrical signal that is above the threshold potential. So once it is above the threshold potential, this means the sodium voltage gated channels will then open. And then that means all of the sodiums will, that's on outside, will flow into the axon. And suddenly we'll have a lot more sodium on the inside. A lot more sodium on the inside and a lot less on the outside. This means there are more positive ions on the inside. So the overall voltage is positive. Okay, after depolarization, we get to the next stage of a nerve impulse, which is repolarization, which is at negative 75 millivolts. And what happens here is that the positive voltage we were at earlier, as it gets more and more positive, less of the sodium voltage gated channels would start to close, but more of the potassium voltage gated channels would open. So this means the potassium ions will diffuse out. They will diffuse out and then there'll be a lot more potassium ions on the outside 
And then the inside, I'll just remove, oops, I'll just remove some of the ions just to show that. And this means that it goes back to the negative voltage as there will be more positive ions on the outside. However, it is just slightly more negative as you can, and like overshots the negative 70 as the axon membrane is more permeable to the potassium ion. So the potassium ions kind of leave at a faster rate. And then eventually after repolarization, the sodium potassium pump over here will try and eventually bring it back to the resting potential. So the way the um, nerve impulse is traveled along across various nerves and neurons and axons is called um, a local current, where in one axon segment you'll have depolarization, and that depolarization gets slowly um, slowly transferred to the next segment. So we have depolarization here, the repolarization occurred, and that just keeps moving along. So this happens because of the diffusion of the sodium ions, and yeah, this is the nerve impulses. As the neuron is firing an impulse, the depolarization repolarization actually passes through the segments of the axon in waves, and this whole process is called local current. And this process is able to occur because as, um, as there's vertical diffusion happening with the sodium ions, because as you can recall in depolarization, we have a lot of sodium ions inside this segment of the axon. So because they go from high to low concentration, then some of the sodium ions will start to slowly diffuse into the next one. So it becomes slightly depolarized, and then eventually it does become depolarized, as you can see here. And the reason why um, the nerve impulse will always go in one direction, it'll always go forward. We don't want an impulse go backward, always go forward. And this is because at the depolarization stage, there's a refractory period, which is when all of the sodium voltage gated channels are closed. So there's no more movement of the sodium ions. So this prevents depolarization going backwards. It prevents the movement of ions going this way. Okay, and here are the practice questions so you can revise what we just learned. So please pause the video right now. And after you completed the questions, congrats, and here are the mark scheme. Okay, thank you for listening.